In today's video, I'm gonna share one of the best counter plays in Madden 22. What I mean by that is when I teach offense, I teach this idea of power, counter, and constraint. And what I mean by that is you have a power play. It's something that they have to stop, right? They, there's certain adjustments they have to make to put them in a position to be able to defend this one thing that you do well, whether it be if you're in bunch, that might be verticals. Verticals would be considered a power play. Um, mesh spot would be considered a power play, right? You, you could kind of pick whatever you want. U-trips, watch a wheel could be a power play. Trips tied in, PA counter go could be a power play. Um, but whatever it is, your number one play and then your counter play is something that you can run off of it that basically looks kind of in generally in general terms the same or it kind of appears the same or the routes kind of run in the same general direction. But there's a little tweak or subtle tweak to it that forces the defense to once they start over committing to your power play, they have to now, uh oh, you've run a counter play and you've kind of got them into a, a chess match and then constraint th theory plays are basically plays that you can run whenever you would like to run them um and they're just they're what I, they're, they're kind of like screens um or play action passes if you're a running team right they're just something that you, you kind of keep the defense honest with these concepts so for example if you're in trips that in you're running a lot of pa counter go a a uh, constraint theory play might be you know pa slot corner and running a corner route on the left side um, just to kind of force them to have to be honest. So that's kind of what I'm getting at. Now, if you're new to the channel, uh, hit the sub button. It's completely free to subscribe. Also, I want to let you know, uh, we do tips here. Every every day we do tips here. Uh, we try to do three to four videos every single day uh, to try to share just exactly what uh, you can do to become a better player, share different concepts, teach different principles. We've got a lot of really good stuff coming up here on the channel. So if you don't want to miss any of that, hit the subscribe button. And then also, if you want to get my full Trips Tied In ebook, we're talking about Trips Tied In today out of the New England Patriots playbook. If you want to get my full Trips Tied In ebook, you can actually get all of my ebooks all together, all 15 of them, for one price of $10. By joining my Patreon membership, it's only $10 a month. And you're going to get access to everything, all my ebooks, all my exclusive updates. We do a lot of updates to our stuff as new stuff come out, as we learn new principles. And we pretty much update the Patreon probably two to four times a week with new material, uh, whether it be a new concept out of a formation or a new defense or a new, uh, or a new ebook altogether. So if you want to get all of that stuff, it's just $10 a month and you get everything uh, as soon as it comes out. They're literally all inclusive. So I think it's a great resource for you if you're looking to get better at the game. I got an email yesterday saying that the uh, Patreon, one of the one of the ebooks in there has just been a masterpiece in terms of helping me understand how coverages work, how principles work, and how defense really can be had, even though we're playing what I would argue is probably the hardest year ever for defense. Um, I've actually put a lot of time and energy into defense this year. Uh, and so because of that, we've got some really, really good defensive guides in the Patreon. So anyways, if you want to check it out, there's a link in the description below. It's only $10 a month. But I'm really pumped to share this content with you. I've been sitting on this for a while. And it's really simple, but it's really, really good. Um, this is drive post on a trip side in. And I this is a counter play. And I'm going to explain why. So I'm just going to put... PA counter go in my audibles to kind of show why this is so good. And then uh, we're going to utilize drive post to kind of show an inversion of it. Okay. So PA counter go, and it's really any play out of trips tight end. But what, you, what you're going to be able to do is if you have a tight end apprentice and you see spamming, if you guys don't know who spamming buttons is, he played in the, uh, in the tournament, uh, the Madden Bowl that is going on right now. Uh, and, you know, in my, in my opinion, he showed the world he's got probably one of the, I think, the best offense in the game. And he runs trip side in. And he just, I mean, it's so hard to guard him. You know, literally he lost the game because of a fluky fumble by his quarterback. I'm pretty sure he's trying to throw the ball away and just got a random fumble. And so, anyways, the bottom line is the dude's insane. And one of my favorite Madden players to study, I don't study a lot of Madden players, but I do study him because he is that good. And the reason I'm saying that is his favorite route concept in the game at least in my opinion based on his tendencies and how much he runs this is this right here he's gonna flat the triangle receiver he's gonna slant i did a video on this before on the channel he's gonna slant this guy he's gonna post this guy gronkowski and then if he wants to he can put this outside receiver on this fade or he could put him on a skinny post and that's pretty much his favorite route concept in the game and really what it kind of does is it's really this slant post it's here 
Or if they cover the slant, then he's going to go there. And it's just a simple read. It's ridiculously hard to guard. Okay? What I wanted to teach you today, though, is let's say you've been running that. And one of the things that people will do is they'll do something like this. And this is just a general adjustment. But they're going to go to Tampa 2. Why? This cloud will play decently against the tight end post. Um, so they're going to run Tampa 2 over here. But then what you'll oftentimes see is they're actually going to convert this from a cover four because they need this guy to guard a uh, deep crosser, okay? So then they might do something like this. They're going to go cloud flat. They're going to go deep half there from an adjustment perspective. So it looks kind of like this. And then typically what you'll see is they're going to lurk here, okay? They're going to lurk here. And then this guy is going to either be manned up or, I mean, he's going to guard the slot. So... They're going to kind of, because they're trying to take away everything, right? So they're trying to say all we want to have to do here is kind of shadow the post right into this area of the field. And this is a really good coverage. It's, this is good for bombs. Um, it's really good to defend bombs out of this formation. Um, you know, occasionally, you know, they might even bring this guy out a little bit more just to kind of help protect a little bit. But that's generally what you're going to get. So this is where drive post comes in. It's one of my favorite plays in the game for a situation when I kind of think someone might be doing this. What we're going to do is we're going to leverage the power of this post route to circle. And all we're going to do, it's actually really simple, is we are going to uh, streak our tight end. We're going to then uh, take the triangle receiver and put him on a flat, kind of keep it consistent with everything. And then we're going to slant our... Uh, solo or outside receiver and we're going to motion him across the formation so you see this is what it looks like and we're going to snap the ball kind of right in here and now what we have is we have slant post but it's going a completely different direction and they don't have a zone that can cover that post route right there this is also really good if they're running and i've talked about this before if they're running a 30 yard cloud flat now this is a little bit tricky to show uh, just because we don't have zone drops in practice mode but what you'll see here is, so that I'm going to develop the 20. If they're in a 30-yard cloud, they're going to drop to about here, maybe a little bit more by the time you throw this ball. Now, on the back side of this, there's they're going to drop back pretty far too. And this will do a decent job against a tight end post just because of the type of, um, the type of route the tight end post is. It can do a decent job. And then let's say, you know, they, they've got some underneath coverage and then, um, you know, if they're really worried about slant post, they're they're probably gonna they're, they're I mean they're probably gonna just user it honestly. They'll probably just user a slant, right? If there's a slant, they're gonna come in and cover it. But the point is this: if they don't see a slant, they're gonna say, "Well, we've got a 30-yard cloud." Well, what you're gonna notice is that this post route will get underneath a 30-yard cloud. So you see here, slant there. And then look at that post. You see right about there, and that's about the that's about a twenty yard uh, post route. If you if you look at this real quick with me, this tight end post. If I were to do a tight end post, watch how deep this is. We're at the twenty, and you'll see if I throw it at the sideline, it's about a twenty five. So it's a little closer. And really, if I waited all the way to the sideline, it's about a thirty yard dot. So the point is to this. The, the point is to say this. If they're going to drop a 30-yard cloud flat on that tight end side or that um, that um, trips tight inside trip side, then they're going to have a hard time guarding what you're going to bring back across their face with the post route because the post route can't be covered by a yellow zone like the slant can. So now you put them in a position where they they kind of get crossed up, right? They kind of, for for lack of a better word, they kind of get crossed up with this because now this guy right here is going to go right about 20 yards, right about 20 yards. Um, now, if they're in just a base, uh, the interesting thing, too, also to note is if, let's say, they're in just a basic, basic cover, too, it's also a really good, a better man beater, too, because this drive post is really a good man beater. Um, it's just one of those routes because it's kind of got a little round to it. And then you've also got a motion slant, which is a better man beater because he's not going to get jammed. But the point is here. So here's cover two. Notice that ghost route. Just hold that cloud flat, and you're able to put that right over the top of them. So if they're not using zone drops, um, then you have them as well. So it's just a really good route um, that you can kind of add to your arsenal. And then if, let's say, for example, you're watching this, and you're like, all right, that's good. 
but I don't want to give it away. I don't want to tip my cap with motion. So what can I do? Well, what you can do is you can actually use a tight end drag um, if you wanted to, or you can use a running back angle route. So you could put Y on a flat, and then you could put um, the square receiver on a fade, so it looks basically exactly the same, or a post if you want to. And then you could take the back and put him on a uh, Texas route and just block your tight end. And now it's basically slant post, right? Kind of similar to curl flat, if you will. But as you can see, very good little concept. So this is just something that I like to do. Again, I'll probably call this maybe three times a game. But what I'll use this for is when I'm in a situation where I'm trying to change them up. I'm trying to get them out of a coverage because they're kind of sitting on the tight end post route. When they start sitting on the tight end post route, it really does open up everything else because you can't guard everything else we can do from this. The tight end is actually not the – I mean, it's – it's kind of the most important player in your offense, but the reality is with trips, you they kind of forget you have three receivers over on the other side with some of the best routes and best route combos in the game. So anyways, guys, that's the video. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch it. And if you want to get my Patreon membership, it's got all my eBooks in it. It's got all the updates. It's only $10 a month and you can cancel whenever you'd like to. You can head on down to the description below and click the link that I put down there to sign up for that. Thanks for watching the video and we will see you guys uh, next time.